Hey guys, welcome back to the Steel Forum. Today I've got a nice tip for all of you scrubbers out there. You poor lonely souls that are trapped in Drawing Editor all the time. One of the problems that we run into frequently is we find, as we're scrolling through the member details, we find a lot that need isolates. They need to be isolated. You don't want to stop in your flow, go and do those isolates. You want to kind of keep a list of those, go back, do all of your isolates in one pass, and then go back and re-scrub those. So i got a quick workflow to make that a little bit easier for you. So the first thing you're going to do is keep your list of isolates as you go. I honestly just recommend just writing this down, but you could also do it with a, a scrolled list, or you can do it right in the step that I'm about to show you. Okay, so the, th the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into a status display criteria. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here, we're going to go to member status, way down here to member piece mark. Okay. We're going to turn on this alphanumeric sort, and it's going to obviously sort these. So what you're doing, if you keep this window open while you're scrubbing, you can do the selection as you go, but here's why I don't recommend it. If you accidentally forget to hold the control button, the next time you click one, you're going to lose all of your list. That's not ideal. That's why I don't recommend it. Just, just write them down. But let's say, just for example, that I want to get a bunch of these bad boys. I know all of these pieces need number isolates. Okay, the squirrel wheel doesn't work in here for some reason. All right, so I'm going to say when none of these are true, because I'm going to hide everything else that's not in this list. Okay, I'm going to press save. I'm going to save it as something, whatever you want to call that. Okay, and I'm going to press apply, and you'll see that everything else goes away. All right, so I'm going to press OK. Now, here's the next step. You'll know when you isolate members that you can get, um, it's, you're getting all of the ones that are that piece mark, but there are several, and it's only going to look to isolate for the one with the lowest member number. So now we want to filter this, what we see on this screen, down to just the ones with the lowest member numbers. To do that, we'll go over into our tree. We're going to right click on this and select Expand All. And then we're just going to Control Click the top one in each of these piece marks. Okay, and then we're going to click in the model window and we're going to say hide unselected members. Boom. Now we set everything to stick and you'll see if I go in here and I use MI to isolate this member, I do whatever I need to do in here and I press OK. You get a real clear visual indication by which ones have turned solid which ones are done. So you can fly through this real quick. Member isolate, you can do the next one. Member isolate, you do the next one. And then when you're done, the other thing that's great is you have a filtered list of everything that you just isolated and that needs to be redetailed. So you could grab these, let's say, this is a live job, so I'm not going to do it, but you could go process, detail selected members. Okay. Then, once you're done with that, you can even take it one step further. Once you go back into your drawing editor, you can use your status display something. For whatever reason, SDS2 leaves all of this other gobbledygook in here. I think these members are group members or other thrown away members. I'm not exactly sure, but for whatever reason, they don't get filtered. But you can see over here is this nice list of members. And the great thing about this is now you can scrub through these very quickly by just using your next next detail button because everything else, everything that doesn't need to be re-scrubbed has already been filtered. This will make your workflow much, much faster when you've got to go back and pick up a whole bunch of members at the end of a process because whether it, it, it needs isolate or maybe there's something that your modeler needs to fix. They need a paint note. Maybe they've got a special holes that you want to get and go through and get all of those special hole notes in one pass. You want to select it in the model and then just see those details when you're scrubbing. This is a great flow for that. So I hope it's been helpful for you. Come back here for more tips. We'll see you next time here.